All right, and here we go, back on Tygem, the start of our Fordon series that I'm sure everyone's been waiting for. Let's go ahead and get a game. Can I get a game? I don't think I have any points. I guess I do. All right, whatever. We will get ourselves a game. A couple of interesting games going on right now. We've got, uh, yeah, that nine down's pretty good. We've got the Fujitsu finals, which might be interesting to watch. Hello. Mm, 20? No. How about 10? The game, is started. game has started, so we will commence playing. I have no idea what to go ahead and expect from these people. Let's go ahead and greet them with a nice to meet you. And maybe something I've been seeing lately. Maybe the large night enclosure. Saw this in a couple of games, haven't really had a chance to use it in my own, so... I don't know... I do have to click quickly though, otherwise... You know what they will do... Hmm... He wants to go ahead and do this, huh? I guess that'll be okay. I'll just take my territory, which I don't really feel comfortable because I did this for more for influence than anything else. I think instead of responding to this, I probably should have played here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this so we can't extend from this, and I can approach later on and use my Anji. Mm, okay, it's gonna do that. Tempted to go ahead and take my corner. Might as well. I mean, there's a weakness here. I can expand to put pressure on here. Can jump in, like I mentioned, to go ahead and do something there, too. Can't do that anymore. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this to see which way he wants to give me Sente. Or not Sente, uh, Aji. If he plays this way, I'll have Aji here. If he plays here, I'll have Aji here. So if he plays this way, I can get more of a wall in here, which means I might be aiming for this weak point. He played here instead, so maybe I can threaten to connect up or something, so, uh, let's go ahead and... I don't really like that, though. I mean, look at that low, low, disgusting. Hmm. But I guess I will. I mean, I could pick a fight here. I don't really see it helping me too much, so let's just go ahead and keep uh, going about our merry little way. All right, choices now. Territory, influence. I like going in, because if he ignores me or something, then... Or I can do that. I could get influence here, or I could go for... Hmm. Where does that go? Hmm. I think I'm gonna get territory. Yeah, I like territory. He'll throw in. And I'll have a choice. I can Atari directly and live. Or I can Atari outside first. He extends up. I Atari. Yeah. And essentially allow him to ladder this stone, you know, across the board, as we can see here. Now, the fun thing about that is, as I just mentioned, it kind of goes, you know, to here. So, I will go ahead and do that. How fascinating that stone just happens to be in the right spot. But that's why we play those kinds of moves. It's a nice little uh, question mark. Tells me what kind of Aji is there, and it's of use later. You might not always know exactly how you're going to use it, but it is of use. And that's the important part. Well, he's playing relatively solid, though. With 3 down, he probably would have made some mistake by now, and I would have, you know, commenced trying to crush him or something. Ooh. Okay. 
I almost drowned myself in my water there. Uh, I can do that, and that gives us a cutting point. I uh, also gives him the ability to do that skill. If I go here, you can do this, and even if you want a ladder, you can play here and then extend out. I don't like that, do I? No, 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 we don't. I'm gonna go ahead and take. Because if I give him the extra influence, then he extends out, and this becomes a pretty large area. Right now, it can still be a little bit of a large area, but I can extend here. Which is what I'm gonna do now, I think. Looks like it's the largest point on the board. I don't really have to be jealous of this. I mean, I can still, you know, poke this a bit. Um, this is not being threatened. I can do that. Yeah, this is too passive. This move really ought to be more aggressive. Because this I'm going to respond to. Most definitely respond to. And then he can try to take a larger area down here. This way, it's kind of small. And I'm going to push up and try to make it smaller. So I think this was a, well, small move, essentially. <clears throat> now he can honey, I can honey, but he can't try and double honey. Okay, he can do that too. Um, now this is a sizable amount of, in uh, I almost called it influence, what am I, retarded? Uh, size amount of territory, you know, third line, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, not too bad. But I think I'm going to go ahead and look at what I've got here, Do do do. If he goes here, I don't know how to use that very well. I couldn't play here and just threaten to make this larger. I don't... I can't connect. Can't connect and trying is just going to be stupid. So let's go ahead. I'll say play here. Uh... I'll just go ahead and offer a sacrifice. Or I'll, that, or I'll go back and connect over if he ignores it, so I'd be fine with that too. But for now, this area is kind of large, so let's go ahead and build up on it uh, for a while there. Ooh, he doesn't want me to do that. Okay. Now we're in a little bit of a fight here. If I save this stone, then it gives him a lot of really bad Aji. I'll save this one instead, because these two stones are a bit of a problem have a bit of a problem. Hanai here is nice. Guess I'll go ahead and do that. He really ought to respond. Or I'll connect out, and that's going to be uh, bad for these three stones. But how is he going to connect? Still a problem. Okay. Um... Doot, 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 not a problem, doot, doot, cut, hmm, bit of a problem there, I guess, I guess we're okay, so I'll just go ahead and get shape before he does something horrible to me. I mean, I have no doubt he has Aji, you know, he might be able to do something in the corner, but this area is a bit more interesting right now. Um... Guess I'll go ahead and poke. Make sure he can't surround. He'll jump out. I'm going to go ahead and cap, I think. Now we see what Aji there is. Mm hmm. Alright, so I'll have one, two, three. If I do this, 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 he'll tarry me. I'll have one, two, three, four. He'll extend. 
I think this is okay. This seems like it's fine. He's got three liberties. I'll have four. See? I've got the four now. He can turn, then I'll have the three. Aha! Uh -huh. That one I didn't really read out, though. If I play here... Hmm. I've got bad shape there, don't I? I can play this. He'll probably throw in, I would imagine. And then he'll probably extend. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and admit that is a problem. But that's fine. That is fine. He's not alive yet. My stone's toast. But he's not alive just yet. Nope, not connecting out just yet. Hmm. I still don't want to be surrounded. So I'm going to opt not to be surrounded. Don't want to be cut through either. That would be also bad. I'll threaten to cut through him. I like that a little bit better. If I cut through this... I don't really see where I'm going with that. So I think I'll extend out in the stacks. If I cut through, he'll tire me out, and then he'll connect. And then my shape's kind of falling apart here. I think all I want really is influence, so I can go back and poke at this. I think that would make me happy. I think that'd be enough. So, Hane, I guess? Then he plays here. Could extend down. Yeah, let's go with the Hane. Because my goal is this now, in poking here. So yeah. Later on I'll see about this territory. Really bad shape. That's a shame at the top. That's not um, something I expected. I'll go ahead and Atari this. So I'll push it up, I'll defend here, threatening to cut through, he's got a connector Hane. I'll go into Tari. Okay. Now I think I'll threaten to surround you with this. He'll probably defend these two stones first. That strikes me as a better idea. Okay. He didn't, so instead I'll go ahead and kill off his cutting stones. And now that I'm strong here, I'll go back and answer that real quick, just because it's Sentai. 
play him double Hane, I don't really mind that. This is kind of silly too, because he's going to cut what? I don't know. So I'll just go and kill that instead. Stupid second line territory. Bad shape. Bad, bad, bad shape. Always pay attention to your shape. <sighs> Alright, I guess if I play here and he can go and cut me, that's a problem. But I don't really intend to allow that, I guess? Overtime countdown has begun. I mean, now I can actually kill off these two stones by poking and then connecting and then one or the other. So I'm happy with that. If he honeys, I'm going to cut. And then... Can't get into here very much anymore, though, unfortunately. I can honey... I, not honey. I can uh, shoulder hit there, which is good. Alright, so... One... One... Can he possibly get the liberties to kill me? Four liberties. I don't think so. He jumped up. Interesting. I like that. I'm gonna play the honey. The, not the honey. Yeah, the diagonal. And I'm not gonna jump because if I jump, I give him connection underneath. I don't want that. I'm gonna extend. Make sure he can't connect here ever. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Take a few points in the center while I'm harassing his group. And then... Lean on these stones, see if I can't cut this off a bit. These two are virtually connected. Don't have to worry about that right now. Connect. And to extend. Careful. <gasps> Told you to be careful. This just got ugly. Like I said, beware of bad shape. You can't save both sides of the stones. And this area is pretty much mine. I mean, that's a freaking strong wall, so... I have a choice. I can be greedy and try and attack it, let him push, and then there's Atari, and then there's a connect, and then there's... Uh, I don't know. Or I can just connect and play it safe and just say, all right, the center's mine, you know. Hip, hip, hooray. Nine, I, think that's a, I think that's a smarter idea. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and connect and leave Nawaji behind. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, that'd be bad if I played here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. What are you threatening to do here? You're threatening to... That doesn't matter. This... I guess that kind of matters. Ohana here. But... You shouldn't have responded to that.
because that cut doesn't really matter so much. And this isn't smart either, because if he connects, he's dead. He's self-destructing. He sees how much he just gave me, and he's desperately trying to reduce anything that he can. He'll probably resign here. Well, I guess he could go to Ko. He can go ahead and play here. And then if I connect to the carrot to try and take advantage of that, well, then that still works. I'll just go ahead and Atari, I guess. Alright, um... There's really nothing that else he can do here, you know? I'll just keep solidifying myself and be happy. Make sure there's no way to come in there. Make a little, little tiny, large night line that really can't be pushed through. Um... Okay. He can't connect here. Well, he can, but there's no point. Unless he wants to really risk it all and live in this area. But that's way too tiny. I can destroy that. He can connect. Okay. Um... That doesn't go anywhere. So it's a very solid wall here, very solid wall here. That's all I really need. <sighs> I don't really see where that's going, so I'll connect and he can show me. He's really wanting to surround this group and kill it. He wants to so badly. So if I play here... Let's see what he wants to do with me. If I play here, he's going to play there, and then I'm going to play there, and then what's he going to do? I don't see where that's going. Nine, eight, Show me, man. Show me where that's going. Because this is Sente. i got to respond. But that's Sente, too. Otherwise, I'm going to take the stones. So he can't do this and do that and, you know, all that stuff. Because this has three liberties, so I'll just block. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at him try to use all the Anji that he possibly can. Uh, if I go elsewhere, then he can Atari, that's no good. So I'll take... If he can close this off, that'd be kind of impressive. I'll defend here now. Give out a liberty shortage. Use it to come in. Pulling out everything, aren't you? Gotta connect. Alright, am I alive? I'm alive. If I go he if he plays here, I can do that, 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 we're alive, we're fine. So I'll keep coming in.
Yeah, his game looks like it's got a... That, that's pretty good moves that he's making. I mean, you can see what he's trying to do. Trying to set up liberty shortages and false eyes and things like that. He's going crazy trying to get this to work. The game is oh, he left immediately. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, I'll type it anyway. I had a nice game. Uh, let's see, is there anything to review here? Let's go back and take a look, huh? So I played this. Now, I have a fairly good idea how to handle a large knight when they approach my 4-4. I've seen variations of that. When they split, though, I'm not really certain how to use that modern. Because, I mean, obviously we all know that we can go on either side. But... I don't know, does this actually still work well? When you push him towards your enclosure and then back off? I guess it does. There's a bit more odd you back here, but if they take advantage of it, you know, and try to live or whatever, then they are hurting themselves on the top, because they're making you stronger. So I guess I agree with that. Here, again, not really certain. I mean, I could have gone back and played something simple. But I would want Sente here, you know. And if he played Sente here, I wouldn't get it. And he would get the chance to go ahead and follow up my uh, last m my uh, move that I ignored. The pincer. So that would be nice. So I didn't want to do that. I could do this. And then he does that. Don't know what to do afterwards, though. I mean, I could jump out and really be aggressive here, but that seems like a bad idea. So I went into the corner instead. Playing simply, because he just gave me something else to take advantage of. He has a nice little base, so I kept him low. About all you can do there. I mean, a two-space extension, you know. You can, uh... Pressure get it to defend itself. But when they have it on both sides like that, you really can't pressure them. It's pretty stable. So the most you can do is either, you know, play a move like this, but I don't see a reason to with that. Play a move like this and see which way he wants to give you uh, the extra stones in the center. Which might be very, very nice if, you know, I had something like, um... Something like this in the center, then this all tend starts to work a little bit better. And of course, the ladder I mentioned here, for those of you that might not have been able to read it, was this. And you can clearly see, though I'm going to show you anyway, because I like clicking where this goes to my last move, or my uh, probe there. So that was fortuitous. Of course, he had other options. He could have gone ahead. Um, original. Yeah, back here, he could have gone ahead and taken this. Uh, danger about this, though, is you kind of need another move back in there, because that's pretty large. You almost need to play something to prevent these moves later on. Otherwise, this gets kind of tricky with nearby stones. And this definitely should have been here, because you can clearly see the difference. I have to either... Hit it if I want Sente, which is going to give him a larger area to fight from. Or I'm going to have to try to play this way. Which is fairly nice for him too.
And the rest of the thought was pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, my bad, bad shape here. I really thought when you, the minute he cut, the minute he played here, actually, I really, really thought about defending this way. Because I can still, stupid, I can still take advantage of this fairly well, you know? I can still use it to get shape if I need to, and that's more than enough, right? To get quick eye if I have to. But at least this way, there's nothing else to worry about. I only worried that now we'd be getting into this kind of fight. I would have to go back and take advantage of those moves. And then... Cut through, since my ladder's fine, and now... This is irrelevant, so I would capture him. All thing he could really do at this point is... Play here. Which I'm also fine with. So yeah, that might have been better. Actually, forget that. This would have been better. What was I doing? No, he can't extend. He would have to play here. I would take. He would Atari. And then either we're getting into a Ko. Well, it doesn't have to be Ko, I guess. No, it kind of does, doesn't it? Because this looks like it's going to be really stupid. That's bad. Anyway, so I did this, which was giving him happy, happy shapes to exploit. I think that was too much. When I got that center shape, I was just way too happy. And then at this point, I think the game's pretty much over. The minute I cut that off and he chose to sacrifice it and live in the center, that was pretty much the end of that. So, I hope you enjoyed my first game uh, against the Fordon. My first game in my newly created Fordon series. I hope you enjoy my upcoming games as much as you did my 3Don games. And I shall see you next time.